their feathers might go up. They don't have feathers. Cats and dogs don't have feathers. They have fur. Yeah, fur. Who has feathers? Birds! Birds, bravo. And eagles. And eagles and, are birds. And are they and yes? And and penguins. Penguins. Eagles, they are all penguins. Penguins. Birds. Penguins. Penguins. shampoos that we can use for for the cats specific shampoo don't use any shampoo for your cats or dogs so there is a special shampoo that I can use for my cat and dog because sometimes the skin of cat and dog is more you know more sensitive what, what does more it mean? Sensitive. sensitive it means it can be red when you use our shampoo our shampoo when you put it on a cat, it makes their skin red, okay? Because these are like uh, animals that are very sensitive, okay? okay. You, need you need a comb for your cat and dog. It depends how long is the fur on your cat and dog. Okay? You can use like these things or a comb like these things. There's different sizes. Of course, we can bathe them outside when it's warm, not when it's cold. Okay? All right. So, and when, when the dog, when the dog feels comfortable, not any dog, we can do this. Not with any dog. Okay? All right. Okay. Uh, for bathing a cat. You need a warm water, as we said. It's 85 Fahrenheit. Yeah. Something that you can put your hand yeah. in, you know. You know yeah. So how do we know that the cat, the dog, the, the water is not cold and it's not uh, hot? I just put my hand in it. If I can take it, all right, it means it's suitable. It's suitable. All right. Okay. And I put gloves. Some cats they will they will go crazy if you try to bathe them. Okay. Of course, you will chase your pets Sometimes. before you get them and close the door. All right. Before, after you get to the bathroom, mm -hmm. your pet may be afraid from the sound of the water, so maybe he will get outside uh, up to your head. Mm -hmm. yeah. So first, you have to calm your pet down. Just pet him nicely until he gets used to the idea of water. First time you try to bathe a cat or a dog, it m you might not be successful, all right? But with time, they get used to it, all right? First time, maybe you are not successful. So what do you do if I'm not successful? Maybe I get a little bit of cloth, you know? A little bit of cloth, a piece of little cloth, and I yeah. soak it with water and just, uh, like, uh, wipe my dog all right, instead of putting him in the water, all right? And when we, even when we put the dog or a cat in the water, how do we do it? We just bring him straight to the water, or what do we do? Prepare. Slowly, you know? We just bring the water slowly to, the, to our pets, because they might be afraid, okay? Okay, hello, once you, once you put your, your uh, once you finish the bathing of your cat, <coughs> You get out, you get him out from the sink, and as we said, we dry it out with a towel, with a large towel. Mm -hmm. When you feel that you can't do that, go to your vet, uh, to go to your vet or a groomer, and he will do the job. So what's a groomer, Dr. Nur? He's someone, or mm -hmm. she's someone, specialist for bathing and cut the hair of, of your cat or dog. So can I cut the hair of my dog or cat at home? No. But I might be, I might be successful, but for, to get a good job, I have to send them to, to a pet groomer, okay? All right. Okay, this is a way that you can uh, hold your cat or your this dog. This is the groomer, that's what the groomer will do, okay? All right, drying up, of course, we make sure that they are dry. 
Okay, and you see we use the blow dryer, dryer. show them the blow dryer, but very carefully, okay? Because some pets are afraid of this. The loud noise, it's frightening, okay? Right? See, grooming, that's what the groomer will do. We'll comb them, shave them, cut their nails, okay? And this okay. is the way that we cut the nails? No, we don't, we, we, have, don't. To, we have to ask the help of somebody to cut their nails, okay? Because this might, cutting their nails could give them a little bit bleeding, okay? So we should be careful. Because okay? their nails are even smaller. Mm -hmm. <coughs> no, they're bigger. Okay. Uh, do we have time for this? The quick vet. I don't think so. Wait, I think we're finishing. Five minutes, right? Okay, so let's go for questions. Okay. Questions? Yes. I know that I Okay, that's good. Yes. Yes. Any other questions, please? You train her also? Bravo, bravo. Okay. So now Dr. Noor will show us how to, you see? Dara, go back where you were. How to handle the dog. Okay, because sometimes the dogs might not feel comfortable you dragging them, for example, from their tail. It's not, you should not always, never drag a dog from his tail, okay? Or from one hand, no. You see how Dr. Noor take care of him, all right? Because they are afraid. You need to cuddle them, all right, at the beginning, okay? This is the way to hold the dog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Feel him comfortable, so. Let him feel comfortable, okay? All right? So, any other questions? Please. We have, uh, we have a yes. dog. Is cute. Dog is cute. Yes. 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 Could be more difficult than dogs because we could be get easily scratched, okay? Okay. than dogs generally, okay? And we have to be careful because sometimes we can be scratched. So if you see a cat which is a little bit angry, just leave her alone and get back to her later, okay? All right? So any questions now? Your question is something you don't know. That you don't know about how to take care of your pet, what to feed him, how many times to take him out for a walk. When to send him to the vet? All right. Any? Yes, please. Yes, please. Like a ball, like this. Yes, like this. Yeah. You can feed your adult cat when she's grown up. Yes, you can feed her one time a day, right? And you leave the food here, and she will she will come and eat whenever she feels like it. But the quantity, how much do I put in this bowl, is something I have to read on on the 
on the bag of food, you will see what's written and it says how much food you should give. Right? There is a quantity. There is a like a like a like a cup, a certain amount. Okay. Can, can I ask a question? Please. If I'm going to go on holiday with my family, should I just leave my cat alone and, and know that it'll be okay, or should I do something to make sure my cat's okay mm -hmm. or dog? Good question. So when we leave on a holiday or we leave home, uh, the the cat will need first food and water. So and the cat or a dog cannot live without food or water for more than one or two days. So we have to make sure that we either leave the cat with a friend of ours who knows how to take care of them and we give them the food and what else? The water and maybe toys. Okay? That's it. Okay? Should we feed cats milk or should we feed them water? Okay. Cats, we always see in the, in the TV that cats do eat milk. But not eat drink. But not any milk. The, the milk that you see not in the market is not good for our cats. They have their special milk. Okay? Our milk, the milk that we drink, is not suitable for cats. They might give them diarrhea. Okay? They have special milk. All right? And generally, older cats, old cats, when they are not kittens, they don't need milk. They have their special food. Okay? Yes. Just water. Okay. So I'm thinking if the boys and girls have more questions, they could probably ask their teacher. And if we can't answer the questions, we are glad we'll to get back to you. Huzzah. We are glad. Yes. So thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Thank you, Kitty, and thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Who's uh, classes at the front? Boys and girls, can we say thank you? Thank you. <laughs> We're going can to go we right about the things we learn. Say, say it again. again.